Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today I wanted to talk about, uh, tonight I should say, since it is evening, I promise I'll get more consistent about when I'm uploading videos, but for now I'm just doing my video every day because that's a commitment I made to myself until I get a little bit more organized with it, at least I'm putting them out. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about why you keep sabotaging success and all right, I've done this a lot um, and it took me many, many years to realize why I was sabotaging it. And first I wanna say that maybe you're not sabotaging success. Maybe you're, maybe that's your higher self trying to talk to you. I'll tell you what I mean. So, all right, my first career path that I went on, I did hair, I was a cosmetologist. I worked in a really fancy salon um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it was like where the um, like the people that worked at the news, um, which was kind of a big deal. It was right. It was on this nice area, Brookside, and a lot of the people that worked at the news came to get their hair done there. Um, it was just a really fancy salon. It was so expensive. Anyway, um, I started there as an apprentice right after I got out of school, and I was really good. Like probably one of the best people they had for being just a beginner. Um, and I'd worked there for mm, maybe six months. Um, and then I was about to be done with the apprenticeship. Actually, while I was an apprentice, um, so when you're an apprentice, you don't really get to do your own clients. They just, um, you kind of just help the person that you're apprenticing under. But, um, I was getting so many requests. If somebody requested you, then you could do them and keep the money or at least, you know, the tip or whatever and a percentage or how I forget how it worked. Well, I started getting a lot of people requesting me. Um, I don't think they'd ever had in, had anyone request um, somebody so much that had just graduated out of school. Um, even when I was in school, I did hair a lot at home. Um, you're not supposed to, but I did because um, I did really cool hairstyles. And um, that was like when all the like twisty stuff was in style and updos. And I was so good at those. I could slay. I wish that stuff was in style still because I'd be probably doing it at home right now. Um, but um, anyway, and so I was making really good money doing this while I was in college. Um, and when I graduated, um, I was, I excelled so fast in that salon and these were like the best hairstylists in Tulsa and I was just bam, right up there at the top. Um, I, after about six months, I was over it and was like, yeah, I don't want to do hair. Um, I was just over it and I really couldn't give you a reason. I just quit. And then I got into some other stuff. I'm not going to go into the details on that, but let's just say I didn't make the best choices. That's a, that's a documentary on its own. I've been thinking about writing a book, to be quite honest, about my life. It's been pretty nuts. So then after that, um, I got really hardcore into music. As you guys know, I was um, a rapper. And, I mean, I could still rap if I wanted to. I just, maybe. Maybe I'll do it again. Right now, it's not really on my heart to do. Um but I, my YouTube started blowing up. Um, I got signed to a record label. Um, I did some shows with Tech Nine, Machine Gun Kelly, um, a lot of badass people, uh, Afro Man. Um, I got to meet some awesome people and had such a blast. And I had a really solid fan base. And then I just decided I was over it didn't want to do it anymore. Um, there, I'm going to get to a reason why, because I feel like I just had an epiphany this week of why I've done this so many times. All right. So then, um, after that, I was like, I, so I kind of had this insecurity that I thought like I had something to prove to the world. Um, I thought like, I'm not maybe good enough. Um, and that I, thought I should have a college degree, like an, like a real degree, real degree. Um, and so I decided, well, I've always been good at math and science. So I decided to, um, become an engineer, an aerospace engineer at that. Um, and I studied mechanical and aerospace engineering, um, took me mm, about, 
I guess four years. It took four years. I had a lot of the basics done um, from some classes that I had taken when I was 18 or actually in my early 20s. So I had a lot of my basics done, but it took me about four years. And um, while I was um, I was very high excelling student, I had a high GPA, um, had a lot of grants and scholarships, and um, I befriended a lot of my professors um, because I would stay after class and ask so many questions and. Um, I mean, I'm sure there were people that I, I've, I've heard people say, um, you know, they're just giving you a good grade because you're a girl. But um, no, I actually was pretty good. I tutored a lot of my friends and um, I got the stuff pretty. It, it came. I mean, I had to work hard. I did have to study hard. I'm not going to say it came easy to me, but um, I, I I gladly took on the challenge. And I was like, I like it that um, I'm figuring this stuff out. And so, um, and I had, I would say the groups that I was in in college, um, I was never really in a shitty group. All the groups that I was in were really high um, scoring students and I always had really strong groups. And I was usually the leader um, and we did really well. Um, when I was in college, I went to a job fair. I was very determined to, I wanted to ha know that I had a job um, ready and waiting for me when I got out of college. And so, um, I went to a job fair and I was, um, I think I had just finished my sophomore year in engineering and I went to a job fair and got, um, an interview on the spot, um, for a company, an aerospace company in, uh, Tulsa. And I did an internship there. Um, I didn't really like it. I just didn't, there was, there was a lot of drama there. Um, but so anyway, I didn't, I could have stayed there. Um, they offered to pay for my college and I could stay there and work, but I didn't like the company. Plus I wanted to move to, um, Stillwater because that's where the aerospace, uh, classes were going to be, which was like an hour away from Tulsa. So, and this is coming to a point, I swear. And so, um, so then uh, I went to another job fair uh, that fall. This is like 2016, fall of 2016. Um, went to a job fair and um, had like two companies that I wanted to, I think I had three companies that I wanted to apply at. And um, went to the first one and they offered me right there on the spot. They said, um, we don't do this very often, but we always have this letter. And if somebody just really strikes us as extraordinary, then we give them this golden ticket. And we kind of joke, it wasn't gold. It was just a printed out letter. I think it was on thick paper, like cardstock, but, um, they were like, we want, we want you to come work for us. So it was initially just to be an intern. Um, the internship turned into a co-op, which meant they moved me to Wichita and, um, paid for me to finish college. So not then college was completely free. I didn't even have to do the grant and stuff, all that paperwork and stuff anymore. It was really easy. Um, I still did some of it, but for the most part, it was, um, it was all paid for after that. And so I moved to Wichita. That was a no brainer. I had a job. I had medical, I had nice insurance, a 401k, um, all as an intern then co-op and then which turned into a salaried position after I graduated. Worked at that company for two years and I quit. I was um, getting ready to, they were talking about promoting me and moving me into a different area, which didn't really want to move into the other area. But um, what's interesting is I had no desire to get promoted. I just was so over it. Um, a lot of, I would say a lot of negative stuff happened to me um, at that company, but yeah, so Anyway, I've been I've I've been uh, jobless for three weeks now. Well, almost three weeks, and I've been contemplating a lot of things about life. And so, one thing that I've realized is that okay, I'm thinking like, why do I keep quitting jobs when I seem to be about to kind of get ahead at the company and 
I got the answer and I realized it's because none of the jobs that I've done have been what I really wanted to do. I was only in them to please someone else or to maybe make somebody in my family happy or kind of prove a point, but I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. And so I think I quit right before things kind of go up a level because I don't want to get into a position where, um, you know, I'm, uh, I guess going to be really, really busy and having to work more hours and then like, oh, well now I don't even have time to figure out what I really want to do. And so what I wanted to tell you is that if you're quitting jobs, Um, right before you move up, maybe it's because that's your higher self trying to tell you this isn't what you should be doing. Um, And so right now I'm on this path where I'm just really exploring what I'm interested in. Um, I kind of got, I've I've been successful multiple times. Um, So I'm not even going to say that I've sabotaged success. I'm just going to say that I keep reinventing myself um, because I I know that I can continue doing engineering. I know I could go back to doing hair. I know I could go back to doing music. Um, but what do I really want to do? And I don't, I, I love working. My problem is I excel really fast and then I get really fucking bored. Um, and I hate being bored. I absolutely hate it. Um, so I need to be doing something what, that I'm con- continuously able to grow and improve. And when that stops and when I kind of feel like I cap out, then I tap out, (laughs) cap out, tap out. That's me. That's been my, um, that's been my MO. And, um, I don't really want to, uh, I think that's a good problem to have because I keep learning so many amazing things. I mean, hell, I've been a hairstylist, a rapper, an engineer, and those are just the the legal things that I've done. (laughs) Um, and so, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like reinventing myself. I'm getting pretty good at it. And um, I'm excited to see what I turn into this time. I think, I mean, I'm working on a company. I'm CEO of a company. I haven't filed the paperwork yet because I want to file for it in Texas because the taxes is our, taxes are a lot better for an entrepreneur in Texas versus Kansas. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to tell you, I just wanted to share that um that, you know, maybe you're not sabotaging success. Maybe you're trying to please other people and you're not being true to yourself. And so maybe that's why you are not happy with where you're at. Maybe that's why, you know, things are going well and you feel like you want to get out of it because um it's just not you. So maybe um, read some self-help books. Um, I recommend Think and Grow Rich. I recommend that. Or The Secret. The Secret or Think and Grow Rich. Maybe The Secret is a good one to start at. Think and Grow Rich can be kind of dry until you realize that it's sort of telling you the same principle that The Secret is. Um, most self-help books are telling you The Secret. The Secret just actually tells you what The Secret is. Um, so anyway, I'm really um, following the principles in The Secret and I'm very excited to see where it takes me on my journey. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that. So think about that. Think about that. Maybe, maybe you're um, wanting to quit because maybe you started doing it for someone else. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know if um, you're wanting to quit your job. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.